a lot of people just don't call things uh, the right way. A lot of people are very, even those who think that they're knowledgeable about it, because they lack the experience. Yeah. They think they know so much when in fact they are very, you know, and they, they, they don't want to accept the fact mm-hmm. and the things they know. Uh, not the problem, it's like, what? Well, yeah. I don't know who said that, but when you, when you, Julie is saying well, that Kelly is a hater. Who? Kelly's a hater? I think she definitely had a little bit of hate away vibe huh? about her. I don't think so. I just believe that, you know, I had an artist that she was right on a lot of subjects, but it was the, um, the delivery that was a problem. the problem. She just believed that yeah. yeah if I believe that I'm right I don't care I'm going to insult people I'm going to I'm going to be brash I'm going to just come and I'm I'm going to because she, apparently she did she did like 50 videos she's just and and a lot of time those people is on the emotion on the emotional moment that they will reply and 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 start cutting everybody and you know sp- spraying paint on the walls and usually that girl would call me after. Hey, can you fix everything? Cause yeah, I mean, you know I'm right. I said, yeah, I know you're right. Yeah, but you I said, yeah, but listen, when you know you are right, I keep telling you, call me first. Don't go to Instagram. Don't go to well, Facebook. At that time it was Facebook. Don't go to the social media or to the press. Call me yell to me vent to me vent your frustrations to me and once you i'm gonna listen to you for two hours i'm gonna tell you you're right and then tell me to do something and then let me fix it for you because i'm a diplomat and i have more power than you and then i would come and but most of the time she would call me after the problems and 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 the worst part is that um to the detriment of your career because at a point people only see you as a problematic person even if you were right all the time people don't care people are just like oh this person is a problem this person is always yelling these people is always insulting people this person is yeah there's always and people are scared of you so as long as you have success Nobody will say nothing, but if you have any, if your success go down a little bit, there's any problem, that's when they're like, they will, they will take, they will take all the power to strike oh, listen, you. And if there's a new girl that sings like you or, or is, they can replace you with, you're gone. Because... I think, I think she suffers from also the, the, not trauma at all, I don't know if it's a trauma, but for, for, you know, being pushed away by the Rihanna, the, and we end up being some sort of like a packaging copy of, of this in some way in the beginning that we put into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was younger, this and that. I mean, just younger, harder, whatever, whatever, whatever. And yeah. We just, well, kind of keep anyways. I think this is what so happened the market to... market dictates its laws. I think that's, this is what happened to Kellis and Kerry Hilson. I'm, I'm not sure if it's Kerry, but I, I know Kellis at a point was saying this. Ah, look at this, this... This Rihanna, she has the hair like me, she has a style like me, da 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 da. Everything comes from me, ba 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 ba. And yeah, people replace you avec tranquillité with Rihanna. Why? Because Rihanna was a product that they could control better. When you are an artist and you are uncontrollable, you fuck with the money. And even if you write me, it's listen, it's something I would tell my artists all the time. Even when you are right, you like there's ways to be right if you're right and you go put your fist on the table with the people who who own the money these people will be like oh we're not gonna give you the money we're not gonna call you for the shows we're not gonna call you for the festivals we're not gonna yeah if you're there you go to the hotel and you yell you you talk bad to everybody because Listen, oh, I wanted my, my room to be done at, at 2 p.m. because I needed for whatever. I'm going to shoot something in there. They told me that they would do it and they didn't do it. Call me now. They go to the reception. They start yelling on people. They start yelling on the crew. 
And what happens is that people say sorry for now, but then the the, 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 the director of the hotel come to us and say, oh, you know what? Next time you will pay for this room because sometimes we had deals with hotels. Hey, yeah. listen, we're gonna bring we're gonna bring 20 artists in your hotel. It's gonna be great for your hotel. It's gonna be a great promo. And we will do a show for free for all the guests of the hotel uh, at the end of the summer in exchange can you give us 20 rooms for free for one month and they're like oh they think about it they're like yeah it's a great promo and hey, listen we put your we, we're gonna put your logo in every flyer etc etc you do an exchange of a deal and after that they come to us and they say hey, listen we have a great business relationship but this artist not in my hotel anymore so now next time you come and the person tells you hey no that artist doesn't come to my hotel i don't care and so now you have to put that artist in a different hotel so in terms of logistic it costs you more money because now you cannot have like four cars that are parked in one hotel to bring everybody to the shows to the tours etc and to the restaurants and to the activities you're gonna have you have you're gonna have to rent a fifth car just for that artist that is in that hotel and the artist is gonna start crying because she's alone in another hotel why so you're gonna have to take two three four artists to put there and now the other artists are gonna say oh we don't want to be with this artist because there's always problem and she's not talking good to us either and now you're like oh my god so you know what you do you don't take the artist on tour with you because you like yeah, yeah listen uh, pardon vraiment uh, mama <laughs> Oza, Oza, Oza problematique. 